Hi, welcome to RN Trail Guide. I'm Trisha and I'm going to be your host today. Um, we're going to talk about being a chair and getting ready for your first meeting. So some of the key features we want to talk about, um, we will see in the blog post and I'm going to highlight a few of those as we go through is one, evaluating membership. So looking at your membership list, who's on it? Um, maybe it's a divisional meeting and we're in pediatrics. So making sure we have representation from a lot of those pediatric areas, maybe oncology, the med surge, ICU, emergency department. But what about other um, supplemental staff to that? So it doesn't always have to be about nursing. What about our pharmacist, our respiratory therapist, maybe physical therapy, maybe you have some new initiatives that are coming through with mobilizing patients faster. So um, making sure that everyone that should be on the team is on the team. Um, so as a new council chair with your co-chair educator, let's look at that membership and make sure it's on the go. Um, another thing we need to talk about is debating teleconferencing. Um, so as the chair, people are going to ask you, can I just call in? Why is this important? What's going on? Um, one of the things I find is um, you have to make sure, number one, can teleconferencing happen in the room you're in? And number two, are your topics appropriate? So sometimes there's things like privacy. Um, again, I always talk about I worked with products and there was pricing involved. So things that we couldn't disclose just over, over the airwaves. So making sure things are okay to be teleconferenced. Another thing is scheduling your meetings. Um, some of the most valuable people out there, we need to make sure that we can get them to the meeting. So your night shift, your weekend shift, even the day shift, can they come off the unit during the day um, for their meeting? Or is this something that has to be scheduled outside of time of um, working on the unit? So looking at what your schedule is, making it consistent. Has the council been in existence and there's already a consistent schedule? You're probably gonna stay with it. But if it's a new council where things have been shaky, um, speaking with your co-chair or maybe your management, or maybe this is even a topic for your first meeting agenda, what should our schedule look like? How, how much work do we need to get done? And the last big topic I have is setting the agenda, but I think it's a big one. Um, I am having going to have a download available on the website here in a, with the blog. So one of the things is looking at, I have a template here for an agenda that I sort of like and have found valuable. Some of the key features I have on here are um, reviewing of the minutes, following Robert's rules, of course, your approval and your second approval. Um, having old business topics come up first, try to get those off the docket. Some of the key things I found great with a, an agenda is having room to write, um, actionable items, and also a person responsible. So if it's an old item, who's bringing it back to the game here? Um, I forgot to mention another key feature is time limits. Sometimes those are more helpful for the chair than maybe for the group, thinking that this is a fast item and I gotta keep things going, keep the momentum going. Um, if we're only here for an hour, we need to get done with these topics um, that are most important and see if we need to table anything else. Um, so we had our old business, our new business topics. A lot of times having new business, um, you may even put attachment was sent to you. Um, go ahead and read it um, before you come to the meeting, see what's going on. Who are those people that are responsible? Um, and maybe the whole team, there could be homework that's gonna happen, or maybe there's maybe, let's say pharmacy coming in to give a presentation on something new. Um, one of the features I really like to add and I found invaluable on most of the uh, councils either as a member or as a chair is that open forum time. Um, I like to build in eight to 10 minutes at the end of my council meetings for anything open forum. So these are things we've talked about. Is there anything that we need to rehash right now? Um, what kind of new things are happening on the unit? And this was an invaluable thing because it was always one of the biggest hot topics and people really enjoyed it. Um, bringing up new things that got to be new business for the next meeting. So this will be available as a download um, and you can go ahead and make it your own. But good luck as a chair and let's hit the nursing trail together.